All right, this gives us this graph and says, uh, let's see here, the graph represents the total charges in dollars by a contractor for X hours of work a week. The contractor charges a one-time fee plus an hourly rate. What is the best interpretation of the slope of the graph? Okay, remember slope, another way to write slope is change in Y over change in X. So this is gonna be the change in the dollars over the change in the hours. Um, or another way to think of that is write dollars per time. So that's what slope is, the amount of money he charges per every unit of time. In other words, his hourly rate. So that is going to be choice A. Looking at the other answer, answer choices, B is the one-time fee. Hmm, the one-time fee for the for like the $50 fee to come out and, and, and look at your cabinet or whatever, that's gonna be here, right? So the one-time fee is captured here because at zero hours, I'm already charging you 50 bucks before I've even started the job. Um, so it's not B. And then T C, the total amount that the contractor charges, well, that wouldn't change through time, right? That's gonna be at some, if he works at some point, this then will be the total amount for that time. Um, so that's not the slope. And then D, the maximum amount that the contractor charges. Again, that doesn't change through time. That, that'll be some, you know, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll charge you up to, what, $1,000, and I won't go over that. So the slope, like that change over time, that hourly rate, that the total charge or the, the amount that he's going to charge for the job will change depending on the hours that he works. Again, slope. So that's going to be choice A.